Yo, what's going on, fam? It's your boy, and welcome to another edition of the AO. You know what? I got to start saying something different. I'm getting tired of saying welcome to another edition of the AO. You know what? Real talk. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, A.O., and my girl, Lindsay. And uh, if y'all will remember, Lindsay, she was in a couple of my videos, the young girl who needed some help shopping for a job. See, and I got my little sister with me. She's about 13 years old. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just playing. She is, uh, how old are you? Really? <laughs> she got a job working right here at Ramsey Solutions. And I am right here in the lobby of Ramsey Solutions. Today, we're talking about something that's gonna be pretty fun. It's gonna be something that's going to help you really change your life and get a little bit more clarity on where you're going. And that is developing a mission statement. So, I don't have a whiteboard, I don't have nothing. What I want you to do is I want you to hit pause. Cause I'm gonna go through some things I want you to hit pause, all right? Did you want me to pause for something? Oh, you thought I was telling you pause. Oh, so my cameraman thought I was telling him pause. I'm not telling him pause. I'm telling y'all, when I go through some stuff, I want you to hit pause, dream, envision, write it down, and come back, hit play, all right? So here's the very first thing. A lot of people ask me, you know, what is a mission statement? And it's simple. A mission statement is something that helps you stay focused on where you're going. What's up, man? Is that for me? No. So I believe that every kid should have, every student should have, every person should have, everybody should have a mission statement. <laughs> what? <laughs> so here's the very first thing. I want you to examine the influential people around you right now. So like for an example, for myself, my father, Dave Ramsey, Bishop T.D. Jakes, um, Bishop Rudolph McKissick Jr., um, Lindsay in front of me, my camera guy, CJ. These people have and play good roles in my life. And so what I want you to do is write down what do they possess that you like? Whatever it is, whether it's they have a lot of wisdom or this man is a man of integrity, they got wealth, um, or they're successful in their career path. I want you to write down every single thing that these people have that you love. Okay, so right now, let's just pause right now. Think about some names and go write those down. So here's number two. Determine a person you eventually want to become. Who is this person that you want to become? Who is this person that you believe God wants you to become? This person should reflect all of your core values and your definition of living a life of integrity. Integrity when it comes to your, your friends. Integrity when it comes to your family. Integrity when it comes to even your relationships outside of your family and your friends, your business relationships. Who do you want to become? Do you want to be a young man, a young woman who possesses this passion for something? Do you want to be a young man, a young woman of integrity? Write that down right now. Hit that pause button. Think about it. Take your time. Number three, consider the legacy you want to leave behind. I know some of y'all thinking like, man, I'm, I'm 15 years old, I'm, I'm 16, I'm 20 years old, I'm in college. <laughs> I am not thinking about life after I'm gone. Everything that you're doing right now is leading up to your legacy. You should be thinking about that. The one decision you're making right now is leading up to your legacy. And this is gonna be around your career, around your community, around your family, around anything. And I want you thinking about that right now. I'm 33 years old and I'm thinking about what is my wife gonna say about me when I leave? And I'm not even married yet. <laughs> what is the youth community? What are you gonna say about me when I am gone? I want y'all to be like, yo, Anthony was a young man of integrity. He would do anything for this culture. He wanted to see us making positive decisions and he fought for that. He had a passion for young people. Man, we're gonna miss Anthony. I hope so. But about you. What kind of legacy do you want to leave? This is deep. So I really want you to take your time, hit that pause button, and think about it. What legacy am I leaving? Here's number four that I think is, is very important, is identify your God-given purpose on this earth. 
Have you talked to your mothers? Have you talked to your pastors? Have you talked to your school teachers? Have you honestly sat down and said, you know what? What is my purpose on this earth? You may be in middle school right now, or you may be in high school, in college, or heck, you may be my age, or you may be Lindsay's age, like 16. I don't know. <laughs> but you have a purpose. You have a purpose right now. Mom, dad, youth pastor, friend, what do you see in me that I don't see in myself? Then come back and take a couple of days to really pray about that and be 100 with you. And also just think about it. You have to know what's your purpose because we can't go nowhere if we don't understand where we're going. All right, number five is I want you to identify your talents and skills you currently possess that you are passionate about. One of my talents is I love talking. You don't say as you can tell. And I love it so much, when I was young, I was getting my behind whooped. I'm gonna be real with you. You ready? I love pie for it. I love to argue with my parents. I love to talk back to my parents. And so eventually, God flipped that into something positive that I really, really enjoy doing. And I really want you to sit down and say, you know what, what is my talent? What are the gifts God has given me? I believe a lot of you all watching right now, I don't know you behind this camera, but you're an influential person. Young people, your peers are looking up to you. But some of y'all are good with money and some of you all are basketball players. That's a talent and good with numbers in your head. And there is something inside of you that if we can just identify that, attach that to your purpose, <laughs> boy, 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 we going somewhere. Y'all got some good talents out there. I see some of y'all. Some of y'all can play ball. Just let me get some money on that thing. Lindsay ain't taking no notes. Mm, I'll see you, Lindsay. You need to write down some more talents though, will you? Here's number six that I believe is so important to really develop your mission statement. What do you want to do in life? Define a specific goal. I want to be rich, I want to be wealthy, I just want to be a big influential person or... No, get very specific. One of my specific goals for me is I want to help young people make better decisions when it comes to dealing with their money, having a better walk with Jesus Christ, and I want to help young people really become stronger individuals and become the leader they want to be. Specific, that's not broad. Think about goals for five years from now. Hit pause, think about it. You got people walking around the lobby. They see your boy, I love them all. And we're, we're pretty much done. So let's go through this one more time, all right? So examine the influential people around you right now. Determine the person you eventually want to become. Consider the legacy you want to leave behind after you're gone. And listen, I know that's hard, but we gotta think about that, all right? Number four is identify the God-given purpose. What is the purpose God has for you? Then identify your talents and skills that you currently possess right now that you're passionate about. Six, I gotta learn how to count. One, two, three, four, five, six is define specific goals. These are the six things. Once we really have these six things, now we're gonna really craft your mission statement. I'm not a deep guy. I want you to keep it simple, straight to the point, and clear. So that way, it's always at the top of your head, and when people ask you, you can say it. This is my mission statement, and you don't fit inside of it, so kick rocks. Goodbye, peace out, all right? Those are the six main things. Now keep this in mind. You may be in middle school right now. You may be in high school. Your mission statement will change as you get older and as you experience life, and that is good. But if you start right now thinking about where you're going, it's not gonna change tremendously. You're gonna add things to it. Should never really take too much away from it, but you may change things around a little bit. So I wrote down my mission statement and I really want to read it to you all. I'm 33, all right? My mission statement has changed. Actually, just recently, within the last two years, all right? It says, my mission is to be an instrument of positive change in my family, friends, and youth community. I will utilize the gifts and talents God has blessed me to have. I will only participate in all aspects of my life with passion, with purpose, with persistence and gratitude. I will utilize my gifts and calling with strategy to ensure that my home and my family is loving and growing. The youth community is responsive and on fire. Through this focus, I will give more than I receive and I will be a spiritual role model to every young person in this generation. You see how simple, specific, and straight to the point that is? Any decision that I make with my life, it needs to be in line with this. I'm focused and I'm determined to be right there. Hey, how y'all doing? So y'all, it's your boy, Anthony O'Neill. I'm here in the Ramsey Solution lobby. And uh, I got to go. Got some work to do. I'm on a mission, baby. 
And Lindsay wants to get out of the film now. So I got to go. Bye.